for bearing animal for reference are these are mostly marine in nature few are freshwater next for reference source source asymmetric body organization beta having two germ layers thus diploblastic next body wall consist of outer pinnacoderm and inner coronal pinnacoderm made up of pinnacocytes and coronal consist of one sex one sex with middle mesen time next these are either solitary or colonial in nature next <clears throat> body contains body contains dermal ostia body contains dermal ostia central sponjocil and osculum chi porifera mane tum aguru padhicho छिद्रालोगे as the body of porifers bears pores that's why they are porifers so pore bearing animals are popularly called as porifers so throughout its body consists of numerous pores so sodrada bibhinna chhidra dara achhai thai these are mostly marine samudrika and few are fresh water like spongila so most poriferans live in a marine water and few are in fresh water but madhura jala rohanti adhikansha rohanti samudrika jala re au kichi fresh water ba madhura jala rohanti next poriferans source asymmetric body organization asymmetric body organization jeu animal ro सरल निर्दिष्ट समानता न थाए मींस इफ यू फाइंड अमंग 5 और 6 और फ्यू स्पंजेस विल कंपेयर 
never similarity in their body structure will be seen. That's why they are asymmetric. These are having two germ layers. Germ layers means embryonic layers. So, which consist of your uh, diploblast, which consist of your that's why diploblastic in nature. Next, body wall. Body wall consists of outer pinnacoderm and inner coenoderm. Out, see, derma means skin. So, as it contains pinacocytes, that's why they are pinacoderm. And inner coenoderm, derma means skin, having coenocytes. Pinacoderm made up of pinacocytes and coenoderm made up of coenocytes. Next, these are either solitary, jeu animal unico. Leaves in single, they are solitary, and those are leaves in a group, they are colonial in nature. So, body contains dermal ostia, central spongocil, and oscular. We will go through in detail. So, eggs, they are aquatic animals. So, all their activities will be performed with the help of canal system. So, canal system one of the significant characteristics of poriferans. See, if this is the structure of a, uh, of a porifera or you can say sponges, they contains this type of structures, this, these are your dermal pores called ostia through which exchange of gases. Uh, transportation of digestive food, digestive food materials, and your <coughs> homeostasis will be also maintained. So, this is normal posterior, normal pores, or posterior. Next, this part is sponsorship. And this is osculum. So, all its activities will be performed with the help of this force. How? So, see, if these are the force, and this is your aquatic medium, so here, water laden with food and gases will enter through these structures called ostia and all its activity will be textless in the sponge seal, the body cavity of sponges and waste materials are uh, released from the body to outside through osculum. So this is the basic structure and based on this complexity of these pores or color system. These are four types such as your ascontype, cycontype, ragontype, and leucontype. So, sir, I will Anyway, now <coughs> digestion. In porifera, is intracellular. Intracellular. Next, respiration takes place by respiration takes place by diffusion. Next, it doesn't bear a definite, doesn't bear circulatory organ. Circulatory organ. Peripherals are amortelic. In nature, 
वेस्ट मटेरियल्स आर रिलीज आउटसाइड थ्रू ऑस्कुलर न्यूरल सिस्टम न्यूरल सिस्टम लैक्स इन पॉलिफरेंस नेक्स्ट रिप्रोडक्शन मैं एक्सप्रेस बाय बोथ एसेक्सुअल एंड सेक्सुअल मैन सेक्सुअल मैन सी एज पोरिफरेंस आर मल्टी सेलुलर मेटाजोन्स Digestion in peripherals is intracellular. So before going to discuss about what is intracellular, we should know what is digestion. Digestion means a conversion of complex food into simple and diffusible form or into ionic form. That's why we call it digestion. In case of periphera, digestion takes place inside the cell. That's why they are intracellular in nature. then respiration takes place by diffusion respiration means oxidation of food stuffs gaseous exchange transportation of gases or diffusion of gases so here dissolved dissolved gases are laden with your water so those are those water entering into the uh, body of spongosil bears dissolved gases and gases exchanged From higher concentration to lower concentration by diffusion, because diffusion is a process where ions and molecules are transported from higher concentration to lower concentration. Now it does not bear a circulatory organ because circulatory system does not see in peripherals. So instead of it, canal system helps in transportation of materials. Now. Peripherals are amyotelic in nature. Amyotelic. So those animals excrete ammonia exclusively. Excrete ammonia are amyotelic in nature. Then what is excretion? Removal of nitrogen waste materials from body of an organism to outside is called as uh, your excretion. So there are different types of Uh, animals are there who excretes nitrogen waste materials. We have around hundred uh, plus elements, but nitrogen and its derivative substances, metabolic byproducts, are always hazardous to or always harmful to animal. That's why it should be immediately released from the body to outside. So, based on the types of chemical nature they are either means c urea uric acid and ammonia those animals excrete urea are ureotelic those excrete uric acid are uricotelic those excrete ammonia are ammonotelic so peripherals are aquatic animals and mostly aquatic animals are release ammonia and among these three ammonia is most toxic substances next waste materials are released outside through osculum see osculum means if this is the structure so this is so these are your different inferent canals which enters through your normal pores and waste materials will be released out so this is your osculum now neural system lacks in periphera so it does not uh, for uh, it does not contains control and coordination 
for purpose means neural system is absent now reproduction so reproduction is jeun prakriya dwara gote prani tar vansh vistar kare taku janma prakriya kahanti the phenomenon by which an organism increases its own species or own member is called as reproduction so here in case of porifera reproduction takes place by both asexual and sexual method because porifers are either unisexual or bisexual in nature that means they contains either of uh, both the gonads or single gonad is present in single animals then uh in case of asexual reproduction which is also called as uniparental reproduction in porifera it it may take place with the help of ganglia formation asexual reproduction consist of gamule formation gamule formation see if this is a structure of a gamule it contains it contains various spicules and different spongin fibers spicules and spongin fibers so these spicules and fibers provides rigidity and elasticity and inside it it contains different spores or uh, these are uh, polysaccharide covering containing spongin fiber and spicules so what is spicule spicules are calcium carbonate containing compounds which are present in gamule and also in its body these uh, coverings protect it from environmental strains on the arrival of favorable condition or favorable environmental condition its outer wall may burst and these spores will release out and enjoy independent life but during sexual reproduction so see sexual reproduction otherwise called as biparental reproduction so sexual reproduction followed by followed by <clears throat> external fertilization external fertilization development is indirect development is indirect that is through a larval form through larval form example amphiblastula and parenchyma right and most significant significant feature most significant feature of porifers bears canal system canal system and this canal system is different types such as ascon type icon type leucon type and ragon type and it has various members such as means uh, common members of porifera includes u platella Cleona, Spongyla, 
साइकल हायरोना एटसेट्रा सो ए सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन कंसिस्ट ऑफ गेमोली फॉर्मेशन ठीक है सब पूर्व पूरा हम डिस्कशन करले ए टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर काटले एथि तमरो डिफरेंट स्पंजिंग फाइबर्स थिला आ स्पाइकुल्स थिला एथि स्पोर थिला फेवरेबल कंडीशन असले आउटर वाला ब्रस्ट ब्रस्ट वे, ब्रस्ट वे एं, एंड दे विल बी रिलीज्ड आउटसाइड सो सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन फॉलोड बाय एक्सटर्नल फर्टिलाइजेशन सो व्हाट इज फर्टिलाइजेशन फर्टिलाइजेशन इज द यूनियन ऑफ गैमेट्स और इट इज द एंथीमेक्सिस ऑफ गैमेट्स टू फॉर्म ए डिप्लोइड जाइगोट जे प्रक्रिया द्वारा मेल गैमेट और फीमेल गैमेट रो फ्यूज हुए ताको कहंती समान प्रक्रिया सो एज ए रिजल्ट हियर यू विल फाउंड ए जाइगोट सो हियर बॉडी हियर फर्टिलाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस आउटसाइड द बॉडी इन द सराउंडिंग मीडियम नाउ डेवलपमेंट इज इनडायरेक्ट सी इन केस ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट डेवलपमेंट हियर जाइगोट पासेस थ्रू ए टेंपरेरी ट्रांजिशिएंट लार्वल फॉर्म एंड दिस लार्वल फॉर्म मींस फॉर एग्जांपल सी आ दिस इज मेल गैमेट दिस इज फीमेल गैमेट दे फ्यूज टू फॉर्म डिप्लोइड जाइगोट दिस जाइगोट forms larva and this larva forms adult so conversion of larva into adult takes place by metamorphosis takes place by metamorphosis so metamorphosis is a progressive change in morphological anatomical physiological and behavioral where an immature temporary larva converted into adult so in case of porifera larval form is uh, appears which consist of amphiblastula and parenchyma and the most significant feature as we have discussed earlier in porifers includes canal system so what is canal system so canal system is a interconnected Generalized structure which helps in transportation of food, transportation of gases, transportation of waste materials, and also reproduction. So these are based on their complexity. Maybe your ascon type, your cycon type, leucon type, and dragon type. And the common members. These are based on their complexity. Common members of Porifera includes. यू प्लैकला मींस वेनस फ्लावर बास्केट तो एठी हमें कोन कहे जापान रो मैरिज गिफ्ट सिमिदी क्लियोना बोरिंग स्पंज स्पंजिला साइकन एंड हाइलनमा नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिलिंड्रेडा 